totally organized now it's like everywhere because i had to take pictures of everything and i'm rambling hey what's Hey guys and welcome to my June favorites. I'm actually filming this before the end of the month which is crazy. Let's see if I can get this up before the end of the month. I'm not sure. I'll do my best. The first thing that I'm just gonna jump right in, get this moving. Uh, the first thing that I'm gonna talk about I'm actually wearing on my lips. It is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick I believe. I think my kitten ran off with the box. So I believe that's what it's called. And this one is an Armageddon. I'm wearing it with a gloss right now. It does dry super matte and amazing and does not come off at all it's just like on so good i cannot wait to get more of them i wasn't totally broke for my trip to seattle i would be buying so many of them tomorrow i cannot wait until payday because phew, you stop charging things i went crazy in seattle guys you don't even know it was bad but so good i will do a haul soon if you guys want to see the clothing and the makeup and all of the accessories and all of that let me know down below. Otherwise, I will just do the makeup probably. There's a lot. But that is Armageddon. I love it. I want more of them. Like seriously, it's not going to budge on your lips at all. The staying power is actually better than the Velveteens and I didn't think there was anything better than that. So well done once again, Kat Von D. Good job. Sticking very close with that same color. Uh, this is That Shore Bright by China Glaze collection i think this came out last year but a lot of people have been talking about it since shanik so recently talked about the whole set from this collection it does say summer 2013 whenever i look it up so i'm assuming obviously last year they're gorgeous all of them i have four so far i have this one that's shore bright bottoms up which is the hot pink um then there's a minty kind of bright green one and a turquoise one and i love all of them you need max two coats they're just amazing they dry really fast so yeah, I'm just loving all of them, but this one is my favorite at the moment and the one that I have worn the most. I purchased all of mine from Amazon because they're really hard to find anywhere else. And if you're into that bright kind of neon, do it. I'm so demanding. Sorry. Uh, a little lip balm. Um, I'm loving the Hurrah lip balms right now. This one is in the almond scent. I love anything that smells like almond extract. And then I also picked up the mint one. I found it in Seattle. I love that one as well. The almond one is the one that I've had for quite a while. They smell so good. They're really hydrating. They stay in your lips a really long time. I believe they are four or five dollars and totally worth it. They are raw and organic. They are made in the US in Whitefish, Montana. So that's pretty cool. I was born in Montana. Hey. Yeah, so I just think it's really great. It's a really great lip balm. I'm loving it and I want, they have so many flavors and night treatments and amazing things, so I really want to try more. I don't know what this is, but I'm going with it. <laughs> I have a couple of the new Lorac Alter Ego lipsticks. I have Socialite, which is this really nice nude. It's a little darker than my normal nude that I've been wearing, but it's really pretty with Rose Hill or the new gloss from Whitening Lightning. I really need to get buttercream. I haven't ordered it yet. What's wrong with me? I need it. It sounds like perfection. Anyway, so that's that one. These smell insane. Insane amazing. They're actually probably rivaling the NYX butter glosses that I'm obsessed with. They just smell so good. This one is Duchess. It reminds me a little bit of the whole Kylie Jenner phenomenon of what she's wearing on her lips, but not quite as brown. It's much more pink, I feel, than what she normally has. On. This color is gorgeous. I really love this color on me when I still had dark hair. I haven't really worn it much with the bright hair. I feel like I'm clearly gravitating towards brighter lips and brighter eye makeup. This was just random inspiration and I haven't gone out of the house with this much brightness on my eyelids in a while, but definitely loving the bright lips. Loving it. Weird how that works. You would think that you'd normally want it a little more balanced as if you have dark hair then you'd want you could thought would think that you could get away with brighter colors on your face, but I don't know. I'm weird. I recently fell in love with this perfume. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana for her. It's the white one. I had smelled it multiple times at Sephora and I didn't really fall in love with it. And anyway, so I tried it on my wrist and I actually really liked the scent when I had just smelled it right out of the bottle. I wasn't really in love with it. Same thing with Angel, that perfume. 
I don't like it right out of the bottle, but once it sits on my skin, I love the scent of that. And this one's, it's just a really ni nice musky smell, but it's still got a little bit of sweetness in it. It reminds me a lot of Omnia, and that's a perfume that I wore for a really long time by Bulgari. Bulgari? Bulgari? I never say it right. No. Duh. Duh. The palette I'm obsessed with. <laughs> um, I already made a video on this. There's a tutorial and a review, and I'm totally in love with this palette. It is insane. Not only for the price, but just as a whole. It's just, it has a really great variety. It has a little bit of color and all of your neutrals that you could possibly need. I just, I love it. It's only, I only paid $9.95 plus shipping because I got it in the first couple days that it came out, but I believe it's regularly priced only at $19.95 for 20 eyeshadows. They're just so good. They're pigmented, they blend out well. I have a million good things to say about it, but I'll just link my review and tutorial down below so you can hear about it there, but I literally have been using it nonstop since I got it. So good. Hey guys, well that is everything. What are your June favorites? I would love to know down below. Also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram because I would love to talk to you there. Always tag me in anything. I would love to see your favorites. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.